Hi everyone, welcome to the Women in Agriculture series presented by NL Young Farmers Forum and Agriculture in the Classroom NL. Today we'll be visiting Fox Trap in beautiful Conception Bay South and chatting with farmer Kayla Minette of N Fag and Meats. Let's go! Hi, my name is Kayla and I work at uh, In Fagan Meats with uh, my spouse Nelson Fagan Jr., Nelson Sr., who is my father-in-law, and Gail, my mother-in-law. We are uh, beef producers and vegetable producers. Our farm is actually pretty big and it's split up into three different sections. So this section here is about uh, six acres cleared and we have 11 hectares that we've applied for down back. So hopefully we get that. On the top of Minerals Road where the talc mines are, we have another six acres. And then we have our family homestead, which has another burn and the butcher shop and all our houses on as well. I was only with Nelson Jr. probably a couple of months back in 2008 when my father-in-law asked me to help him with the uh, moose season in the butcher shop. So of course I got roped into that and I've been doing it ever since. And it's actually one of my favorite parts of on the farm is just helping in the butcher shop and getting orders ready, boxing them up and getting them at the door. And then I was probably, it was probably the next summer, I had to uh, start cleaning out the chicken and the turkey pen, so that was my job for a couple of summers, was looking after turkeys and chickens. My education was in medical admin, and I went to work at a physio clinic, and I worked there for six years, and I always did farming in the evenings and part-time, but after COVID hit, and I was home full-time and farming full-time, I seen how much I loved it and how much I wanted to do that, and I haven't gone back. It's been almost two years, and I can't imagine doing anything else. I got a lot of roles on the firm. I wouldn't say there's any just one certain thing. We all chip in, we all help, we all do what we can. Every day is different. Some days I could be in here looking after the animals, some days I'm in the butcher shop, some days I'm sat down doing paperwork to a table. Everything is different and we just take it day by day. One of my roles on the firm is coming in to check on the cattle every day. I gotta make sure they got feed and water and make sure they got hay, make sure everything is going okay and they're all looking good and all the gates are closed. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, girls. Hey, Cookie. Hey, girl. Hey, Rio. Come here, Cook. Come on, girls. Come on, Moonlight. There you go. There you go. Bicycle. My favorite part of working on our firm, I do love working with the cows, I do love that, but I love in the butcher shop. I love getting orders prepared, I love just getting food on people's plate. I love that. Another role on the firm that you wouldn't think that is important, but it is, is the creative side. So we look after our, so, or I look after our social media page, but I'm constantly on my phone and on my computer. We have so much information. We have customers, we have followers. We have a lot to keep up on, on that aspect of things. And then when we have our cattle, we always have to have information about them entered in, if they ever got a vaccine, if they calved. Everything about the cattle has to be entered in online as well. Well, so that's another part. Uh, another creative side would be different recipes we use. We do four different flavors of meatballs. We do a meatloaf, which is just strictly me. Nobody else does that, that's mine. And we sell those to different stores with the rest of our products. We have, store, or we have meat in a ton of stores. We have uh, Urban Market on La Marchand Road. We have Lester's Farm Market on Brookfield Road. We have uh, Tilt House Bakery in Portugal Cove. We have Mays Variety in Foxtrap. We have uh, Campbellton Berry Farms in Campbellton. And we have uh, Three Mile Ridge in Lethbridge. And then we also sell on farm for pre-orders. And then we go on the road. We go to Marystown, we go to Fogo, we go to Gander. We go all over the place with our freezer trailer. I enjoy most about the agriculture industry is a sense of community. I love it. Farmers are always there to help each other, especially in tough times. 
and in good times. Just uh, last week and we had another farmer help us take our cattle off pasture and we helped them a couple of weeks beforehand. So that was awesome. We can always count and rely on each other. My advice to anybody wanting to work in the agriculture industry is to reach out to other farmers. Get help, be mentored. Even if you were doing volunteer work or you were just helping out and doing things in the evenings with them, it gives you a little bit of an idea what goes on and you can always get help from them afterwards while you're trying to build your own farm. Yeah. It's just for cattle. Yeah. yeah. This side here is a big open pen for a general population, but we got those gates and we'll be able to separate it into three sections if we need to, for when we're cleaning them or when we're weaning calves. Over in the back corners are bullpen and we got a big bull headlock for him so we can keep him contained. And then we got three calving pens here. And then over here where the man door is, it's gonna be like the room for us to actually walk into. Yeah. The advice I would give to a woman wanting to enter the agriculture industry is just do it. Believe in yourself and do it. You can do anything you set your mind to. Just last week and I hauled my first load of cattle with the truck and trailer. Everybody else was nervous, but Nelson said, you can do it, go on and do it. And it's nice that he got confidence in me to do what I wanna do. Okay. You have to give you space to put it in. Now, girls. Yeah. The skills needed to work in agriculture is determination, patience above all, and a good set of hands. Whether that be in the garden, whether that be doing paperwork, or no matter what it is, you need, you need patience. <laughs>